What's up guys, today's video, we're working on Dodge Dakota again. We had a small transmission leak still coming from the transmission and it was very, very small, I tell you. It's not like anything crazy, but let me show you what was leaking and so that if you guys have run into this issue, you can know exactly what's going on, hopefully. So after changing the pan, the gasket, the filter, the seal on the shift mechanism, I still had a tiny bit of fluid dripping from here. So on further investigation, it was coming from my transmission cooler line. It wasn't coming from the connection between the line and the fitting. It was coming between the fitting and the case. So I just want to show you guys, I still have full transmission fluid that you can actually get to this without it puking all over the place. A little bit's gonna drip out, not a whole lot. You can kind of see a little bit came out in there in the pan, but nothing to be too concerned about. So I'm gonna take out the fitting that's in the transmission, put some sealant on it, put it back in. All right, so it does appear that this thing is gonna try to leak everywhere. So I'm going to see if I can just shove something in there to stop it from puking everywhere just for the 30 seconds that I take this out to put some Teflon tape on it. There we go. I've got my sealant on there. I'm gonna I don't even know if that did anything on me. Honestly, I don't think it did too much. It barely leaked out. All right, so that is it. Our fitting is now on and it should be nice and sealed. Hopefully you guys can see that. But we got our sealant on there. And just so you guys know, what I'm using is Teflon tape that's rated for petroleum. So it's ready for gas, propane, butane, um, it says gasoline, natural gas, all sorts of stuff, petroleum products. So this, you can use the white one. I've gotten away with it before, but this one apparently is more resistant to petroleum products. So use that one, should be fine. If anything changes, I'll definitely let you guys know. You guys know this is an honest channel. So uh, that should be the end of the leak there and i'm just thankful so when it puked out a little bit i think it was just a tiny bit that was up in that fitting or something like that because it kind of just leaked out a tiny little bit of fluid and then it stopped so you don't have to worry too much about trying to uh trying to plug it up so anyways that leak is now fixed so this is a question that has been bugging me for a little bit and i want to know if my 15 inch dakota wheel will fit on the viper you might be wondering why, but I have the Hoosier drag slicks on those 15s. Not this one specifically, but I just wanna see if the wheel fits. But I have them mounted and I wanna see if I can fit on here because <clears throat> if those fit, that means we can put the slicks on the Viper and go to the track, so let's see. E, I don't know. That is a big rotor for a little wheel. Let's see. Nope. She does not work. There's no way. No way, even without a spacer, it's still like almost two inches away. Well, our hopes and dreams are gone. So that is not a viable option. Apparently there's a 15 inch rim that will fit. So I'm gonna try to research, find out which one that is, cause then we can swap out these 15s for the 15s that fit this and the Dakota. That would be super cool. All right guys, so off she comes. And if I didn't do this, I know you guys would be asking me to do it. So that is what the Dakota would look like if we put these Viper wheels on it. So we will do all four at some point. Uh, not today, but <laughs> I will do it at some point. I really don't feel like jacking up the car and swapping all the wheels, but I'll definitely put them on. We'll see how she looks for, for fun. I took off the wheel spacers off of the actual Dakota wheels. So I would need to put those spacers back on. And these are actually wider than stock. So I don't, I honestly don't know if they'll fit. You might have to get some crazy spacers because these ones are ridiculously wide. But anyways, let's put the wheel back on the Viper. All right, so a couple packages showed up. So let me show you guys what we got. I'm pretty excited about this stuff. So I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. So we'll open this one first. 
And this one's not that exciting, but it's definitely something we need. So we got Mopar Limited Slip Additive. So I bought a bunch of bottles of this because I need it both for the Viper and now I need it for the Dakota. So I figured I might as well just get a bunch of bottles since I'm always scrambling at the last minute to get it. So I think I got four bottles of it. I got four bottles of it for a pretty good price. So, and it came with these little things, not that we'll use it, but I guess that was a nice gesture. So now we got four bottles on deck. So we're good. You usually only need about one bottle per thing. I don't think there's any other goodies in here. Just all newspaper. So that's that one. All right, so I think I know what this one is. I'm pretty excited about it. This should be exciting for both of us, if it is what I think it is. It's a box inside a box. There's that. Okay, let's open up the next box. Yeah, it is exactly what I thought it was. This is gonna be cool. Wow, check that out. So this is from Dom's Motorsports and I'll link him in the description below. Dom's Motorsports at yahoo.com. He's also on Instagram at Dom's underscore motorsports. So these are gonna be super cool. I can't wait to get these on. And they're a very good looking piece, much better than the OEM stock ones that are on there that are just essentially uh, a sandwich of rubber that goes like this. So these will be a lot more hardcore and uh, I think these will be a great unit. So thanks to Dom's Motorsports, we'll end up getting these installed on the Viper and thanks again to him for sending these. I can't wait to get these things on. These are super trick and I think they're gonna be a nice addition and upgrade to the Dodge Viper. Okay, so Amanda's gonna open the box. She doesn't know what's inside it. I have a pretty good idea. So we're gonna see what's in here. Jesus, aggressive with that knife. <laughs> oh, that was a weird packaging. I don't know if we'll be able to get that out of there. There she is. So this is the... <laughs> This is the bigger <laughs> alternator. It looks, I can't tell if it looks bigger. Pull that thing off. It looks better one too. Oh, I just can't get it off. Let's see if this looks any bigger physically. So we'll end up putting that one in there. I just want to explain that the reason why we're going to end up replacing the alternator, and I'll get into this in more detail later, is because we went to the electric fan. It is actually the alternator, the stock one, the OEM one that is in this Dakota, the 99 Dakota it is not keeping up with the demands of the fan. So as soon as I installed the electric fan, I was noticing I was having some hard starting situations where I would go to start the vehicle and it was slow to crank over. I was kind of thinking it was a battery, but in discussion with uh, a few people, actually uh, Dakota RT, there's a, a guy or gentleman on uh, Instagram, he has a Dakota RT club and he said that his fan was having the same issue his when he installed electric fan it was killing his battery he thought it was the battery but it ended up being the alternator so he put a bigger amperage alternator which is what we're going to do so i had to put a trickle charger back on my battery and that is all because of installing an electric fan so i wanted to update you guys on that like i've always said i will keep this 100 percent with you guys if there's any issues i'm going to let you guys know what's going on so that you guys can resolve them as well and uh, hopefully find this very informative. So good end up replacing that, but I'll do that in a separate video on how to replace the alternator. It's really not gonna be that hard on this. It's actually gonna be really nice. Just two bolts and then need a couple plugs and stuff off the back. So I'll have a separate video for that on you guys and I'll keep updating you on that situation. So look forward for that video and when we replace the alternator as well. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video, but you guys are not going to want to miss the next couple videos that are coming out. So over the weekend, we took the Viper to the drag strip just for fun. It's not set up for drags whatsoever. I mean, it's got rubber bands for tires on it and the suspension is super stiff. 
but we went out, we had fun. I got that video and footage coming for you guys soon. Also, the reason why I didn't get a chance to post on the weekend is because I was incredibly busy with, by the time I went to go to the track and a bunch of other things. And what happened and went down yesterday being Sunday, you guys are going to freak out. So I'll get into all those details in the next video. But to kind of summarize, we have a ton of parts for the Dodge Dakota RT. This thing is going to be insane. So uh, I've been talking offline to a fellow and local Dodge Dakota RT owner, and he had a ton of spare parts from his build. And we kind of worked some stuff out and we have a ton of parts to now go on the Dakota. So we ended up filling up the Jetta yesterday with a ton of parts. Um, a lot of performance stuff, go fast parts, traction parts, you name it. We have an insane amount of parts. So I'm probably smiling from ear to ear right now. Um, the truck is going to be supercharged, a lot of supporting mods as well. We got the intake, we got the throttle body. I've got it all. Now it's up to me to get the work done. I'll share all that stuff. Also, we even have exhaust. So I'll share all that stuff with you guys in a completely separate video because we have so many parts now to go on the Dakota that it is going to be an entire video in itself talking about that stuff. So again, huge shout out to Jason for helping us out, helping out the channel um, because we have a ton of parts, like I said, and it's going to be fast. It's going to be a fast truck now. So it's going to be boosted, finally boosted motorsports and it's it's gonna be nuts I'm, i don't know what else to say i'm speechless so i was not expecting that to go down yesterday i was on the hunt for supercharger so i can tell you guys now 100 percent we have one locked down it's actually behind me and i'm just excited to share it with you guys so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video but you guys definitely want to make sure you're subscribed have your notifications turned on because you're not going to want to miss the next few videos we got a ton of stuff on the way, you guys. It's going to start to get pretty crazy from here on in. So anyways, thanks again, you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.